All right, well, damn, that's a harsh. bundle of arrows. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. <laughs> but we found her the key in her room. Oh no, you absolutely have. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Uh, oh, um... You know what? Here's the thing. I think it was Byakuya. And the reason I think it was Byakuya, because he was the last person at night to say that he was alone in the garden and no one was there, and no body was there. And Byakuya was the one who led Mak Makoto to Kyoko's room to find the key conveniently just sitting there on her table. I think this murder was Byaku Byakuya. <clears throat> hmm? What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. Easy peasy. Yep, the evidence that she went to the dojo. Duh, the key. There it is. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. Right between your draw bras and undergarments. I that ruffled through all of them. Just the final piece <laughs> of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Hold on a second. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? <laughs> no, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just, there's one more thing I need to ask her. Why do you wear those padded bras and fool us all? Kyoko. We know you're flat. I want you to tell me something. <laughs> Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was rifling through your underwear drawer, actually, Makoto. I was just... protecting you. Ha-ha. What? Ha-ha. Aha, she was protecting me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. She was protecting me. What is, does that mean she? So she knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when? Which would mean that Kyoko, she killed someone for me. Enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. What? Kakuya should know better than anyone? Because it was him. What does that mean? Get his ass! Make your argument! When the body was found. Okay. Right, the nighttime. Watch. He was the one who said no one else had seen the body. Those in there. words you just spoke. What do you mean? Here we go. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Yep. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master, would he never hide something from me? <laughs> There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct? Hmm. But could I really have done that? 
Kyoko gave her room key to Bikuya, right? Which would mean... Those ah. words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Byakuya, what are you hiding? Master, would he ever... There's proof that you are... Yep, I need to get it from over here. That, you stated it. You said I hid the evidence of my... And then left go. the locker key in my own room. Correct? Yep. But... Could I really have done that? She couldn't have done that. Bikuya had the, the key to her room. He had taken it, remember? Those here words we go. you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that. Byakuya. What master would he never hide? There's proof that you are the culprit. There it is. No, it's wrong. Nice. If I'm right... Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Huh? Why not? You take the because key. she had given her room key to Byakuya. Yep. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? It would appear not. No, but now all the evidence points to him. But that would be too obvious of a mistake for him to make, I think. Then you're finally starting to understand. That's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us, an obvious lie. But this, this just isn't, this just isn't like her. To try and save herself is such a desperate lie. Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or something else? But there's some deeper meaning hidden in what Kyoko said earlier. Huh. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. The Mastermind's trapped. The Mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko. But what if it's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? The Mastermind's trapped. The victim was Makuro and Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. Expose it live on stream. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you. No, I can't do that. I'm oh, sorry. No share. The mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? I have to decide right here right now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Run away! Uh. Let it go, let it go. I don't know. If I pursue the lie. Uh. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna let it go and let's see what happens. You know what? Hold on a second. Ah, fuck. I was gonna say, can I save? I can't save. I can't save. I can't let it go. Let it go. I made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here, or something that has to do with the mastermind trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? That it was him. But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Now he's gonna say it's Makoto again. It, it had to be Makoto. Oh my god. I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's gotta be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, 
There's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Yeah, it's called the fucking room. It's fucking hideous. It looks like... Oh my god. It's so... Yellow and fucking pink checkerboard. Ugh. 